Abby, thanks so much. So it is great to be back in this truly beautiful room to celebrate a wonderful organization and the great work it's been doing for almost 80 years. I was so happy to be asked by my friends, my colleagues, and top-ranked power couple, Craig Melvin and Lindsay Zarniak, to introduce this couple. Craig is, of course, an anchor on NBC's Today Show, the host of the third hour of today. It's a very literal title. There are four hours, and it's the third hour. I hosted it once myself. Craig can and has covered every conceivable news story, from politics and tragedy, often one and the same, to triumph in places ranging from small towns to the Olympic Games. He always does it with heart, in his smart, South Carolina smooth style. I should add, he also is a host of Dateline NBC, so the man can do murder, too. Or was it just made to look like a murder? Lindsay is an Emmy-winning sportscaster who's traveled the country and the world, bringing us NASCAR racing, the NFL on Fox, and like Craig, both the Summer and Winter Olympics on NBC. Many of you fans will remember Lindsay's six years of service in Bristol, Connecticut, as a star anchor of ESPN's Sports Center. Lindsay's range now includes horse racing and the podcast Lunch with Lindsay, She Truly Can Do It All. But we're not here tonight to run through Craig and Lindsay's LinkedIn profiles. Suffice to say, they both are at the top of their games. We're here to honor them as a couple, as parents, siblings, children, and generous members of their community. Craig and Lindsay have been married for 13 years, and they are the parents to superstar kids Dell and Sibby. Craig has written two books, the first called Pops, Learning to Be a Son and a Father, which chronicles his reconciliation with his own dad and the lessons he took to be a better father himself. His latest book, I'm Proud of You, is a tribute to the childhood milestones that inspire pride in all of us parents. Craig and Lindsay dedicate much of their time outside of work to raising money for cancer research and treatments. Craig lost his brother and a three-year-old niece to cancer. Lindsay's dad is a survivor. They are eloquent and powerful voices in the fight. And last year, Craig and Lindsay raised $1.2 million for the Colorectal Cancer Alliance. So Craig and Lindsay, I am proud and honored to be your friend and privileged on behalf of ADAPT Community Network to present you tonight with the organization's 2024 Leadership Award. Please welcome Craig Melvin and Lindsay Zarniak. Thank you, Willie. Oh my goodness. Man, that Willie Geis. And he's got to be up in three hours. So do you, Matt. That's true. I know. I, I, four hours. Four we hours. should mention that we normally run into Willie each year at the Christmas tree farm. That's true. With his family, which is so, so it is. So without being sappy, it is really special to be able to see you out of your element. Yes. In another way. Thank you. And Willie you mentioned uh, Thank you so much. the fundraising for colorectal cancer. He did not mention he's been part of that effort for two years. He comes out. Uh, play some golf and, and helps us raise some money for a worthy cause. So, a big thanks to our dear friend. Thank you, Willie. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> ah. We would encourage all of you to watch Morning Joe tomorrow from six and <laughs> from six until seven, because at seven you should switch over to the Today Show, and you can DVR Morning Joe. I actually got in trouble last week because my daughter told my husband that Mom was watching Good Morning America. It was just because they promoed J-Lo. Yeah. That was it. I just said. Yeah. And she almost got served with papers. I did. <laughs> yeah. Susan I Lucci. Said but Susan Lucci's like, yeah, yeah, I know. yeah, yes. Yeah. I am a Today Show watcher, but there was, you know. Um, thank you so much for the wonderful reception. We are indeed delighted to be here tonight in support of ADAPT Community Network. And uh, by the way, a special thanks to ADAPT Leadership Awards Honorary Co-Chair. We mentioned Willie, who was, by the way, honored here last year, for those of you who weren't here, uh, for taking time off from visiting colleges with his daughter, who's probably going to end up at Vanderbilt, the Harvard of the South. Uh, <laughs> look at that, you got three Vanderbilt people here. That's amazing. Uh, you sh I hope you're gonna cut a check to help Willie's daughter go. <laughs> Vanderbilt's not cheap anymore. Mm -mm. Uh, we would also like to th really thank um, ADEPT CEO, Ed Matthews. Where's Ed? Ed? 
I want to thank Ed and the Board of Directors of Adapt Community Network for this great honor. Four years ago, actually, um, Lindsay and I attended, if you remember what was happening in the world four years ago, um, we, we attended for the first time with our friends who were past Adapt Leadership Award honorees, my buddy Al Roker and, and his wife, Deborah Roberts. Um, they returned to serve as honorary gala co-chairs. Mm -hmm. Do you remember also um, what we did during the pandemic? We'd come up with jokes for our kids. Yes. You want to hear one? I would, uh, I th yes, I would love to hear a joke. <laughs> Why did the coach go to the bank? This woman right here is like, what, what is happening? Why is this? Is that bad? Like, Why did the coach go to the bank? To get his quarter back. <laughs> it's good, right? It's good. Okay. Oh, come wow. on. Wow. Oh, come on. Wow. Be better material. All right. Wow, you got Anywho, food. Um, <laughs> But it was then, in our last time here, that we did become aware of ADAPT's 100 comprehensive programs, which we were excited to hear serve more than 20,000 children and adults with disabilities and their families. Uh, we learned that they are changing the lives of kids, adults, and those families. We were also scheduled, and we were so grateful to be scheduled to be honored the following year, but due to COVID, that was canceled. Shh. People. Okay. Is all right. We later learned that for the next two years, ADAPT worked tirelessly around the clock to help their kids continue school virtually and to keep the many crucial services going that thousands of people with disabilities rely on, despite the challenges brought on by the pandemic. It's a great cause. Yes. Um, this, is a, this is a group, an, an organization that's been doing God's work for almost 80 years. Um, and we're truly honored to be acknowledged by an yes. organization that does so much for so many in life-changing ways. And we're also really honored tonight to be honored alongside Katie Ledecky's uncle. Um, yes. that's, that's how I know him. You'll hear from him later. Uh, but thank you all. Uh, yes. And we'll see you tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. So. Thank you so much. Truly, this means so much. Thank you.